Service Employee International Union President Andy Stern has no qualms about publicly threatening elected officials, as reported on CNN's Lou Dobbs show. A bold threat tonight from one of the most powerful unions in the country, a bold threat to Democratic lawmakers and President Obama. The Service Employees Union, which did help many Democrats win election, including the president, uh, said that those, those Democrats must keep their promises or else. Stern says politicians who made promises better keep them or else. And the SEIU boss has no problem teaming up with ACORN and other groups to target employees. And SEIU brings to life Stern's, quote, persuasion of power doctrine every time SEIU organizers engage in a so-called corporate campaign. SEIU's goal is to force more workers under their control and then force them to pay union dues for the privilege. This is the first of a four-part video series where we'll see firsthand how all this works. The story begins as Dave Bego, author of The Devil at My Doorstep, learns that he and his employees are about to be targets of a corporate campaign organized by the SEIU. When the SEIU lead organizer informs Dave that SEIU, quote, enjoys conversation but embraces confrontation, Dave better watch out. Hi, I'm Dave Bigo. I'm the CEO and owner of Executive Management Services based in Indianapolis, Indiana. We are a commercial cleaning firm that uh, operates across the country in 33 states and uh, employ close to 5,000 employees. I want to spend a little time today talking to you about um, our experience over the last four years with a particular union, the Service Employees Inter International Union, the SEIU and uh, the uh, attacks that our company has uh, absorbed over this time period and, and really what's some of the, the fundamental things that have occurred so that people get a, a grand view look at what the organizing tactics are like and um, not only to our company but to our employees and to our customers. Uh, things that I think that all Americans need to, to hear and understand what's going on. Because they need to understand the, the basic fundamentals that the unions employ, and they call it their corporate campaign, to harass and intimidate, uh, coerce uh, employees, uh, customers, and contractors like ourselves into bending to their wishes and signing neutrality agreements. And um, as, I, as I go through, I'm going to tell you some stories that uh, I find disturbing. I, um, it's, it's not just that they attacked my company and my family and me personally at times. It's the fact that they put so much pressure on employees who really wanted no part of what they had to sell. And a lot of our success is based on some of the same management fundamentals and principles I used back when I was with Central Soya in how we managed and took care of our employees. Uh, we always tried to put them in environments where they were safe that um, they were clean, that they could do their jobs without being uh, hindered or intimidated, and we always tried to pay as fair as we can and, and provide benefits uh, based on what our industry allow. And uh, I think we've been successful at doing that. Unfortunately, about four years ago, a little over four years ago, uh, we kind of had an interloper come into our midst, uh, the SEIU, and my first connection with them was a, a letter I received, I believe, in April of 2005. I, uh, I had one more meeting with them in um, September of 2006, and uh, the contract administrator came back to Indianapolis and he brought the uh, president of the um, SEIU Local 3 at that time, I think it's now SEIU Local 1. And um, we uh, had a lunch meeting again, and uh, it was cordial one more time. As we sat there talking, I again was pressing them for specific information on how they could, they could help our employees. And either they couldn't or wouldn't give me information. And um, as the meeting progressed, the uh, contract administrator looked at me and says, um, you're not going to sign the agreement, are you? I said, no, I don't have any intention of signing the agreement. 
unless you can give me specific information how you can uh, help my employees. And I don't think you can do that. At that point, he looked at me and he says, Mr. Bego, we enjoy conversation, but we embrace confrontation. We will start targeting your customers and your buildings within 30 days. So at that point, basically, uh, what I dubbed is a war uh, was, was initially on. The, uh, the onslaught started about three months later, uh, December, late December, early January, late December of 2006, early January of 2007. And um, they started approaching our employees in downtown Indianapolis at uh, a building that has been on uh, CNN's Lou Dobbs show, Market Tower. And they also started uh, um, approaching employees up at uh, some facility of ours uh, north of Indianapolis. They were able to um, only get about 10 to 12 of our people to sign union cards out of approximately 400 that operate or work here in the uh, Indianapolis metropolitan area, which we feel was a real success story for EMS, that uh, our people understood what was going on and resisted their, their advances. The sad part is, is that these organizers from the SEIU really didn't care what the people thought. Uh, they didn't care what our customers thought, and they certainly didn't care about how we felt about the issue. Uh, they continued to um, put pressure on our employees every day. There would be organizers outside our main buildings downtown 